What's your brand's AI level? Most brands are stuck at level 2, using ChatGPT to write product descriptions and content. Meanwhile, the leaders are at level 8 with AI agents running entire workflows autonomously. Let me break down the progression I'm seeing across e-commerce brands. Level 1. Haven't touched AI. Still doing everything manually. If this is you, code red. Level 2. Using ChatGPT for content. Writing product descriptions, email copy, social posts. You paste your brand guide into ChatGPT and hope for the best. This is where most brands sit. You're basically using a Ferrari to deliver pizza. Level three, deployed pre-built solutions, added chatbots, AI writing tools, maybe some Zapier automations. You're automating tasks, but not thinking. Every tool is its own silo. Level four, built custom GPTs or assistants, created brand-specific AI assistants using OpenAI GPTs or Claude projects. Your team has a brand voice GPT that knows your guidelines, progress, but you're locked into one platform. Level five, connected AI agents to workflows, built agents that actually do things. They process orders, handle support tickets, generate content automatically. Now we're talking. Level six, integrated MCP tools. Your agents can access real-time data through MCP servers. They can query post hoc for user behavior or pull Klaviyo data for campaign performance analysis. Level seven, build custom MCP servers. You've developed your own MCP servers for inventory, Shopify data, customer analytics. Your agents access data through your custom interfaces. Level eight, orchestrated multi-agent systems. Multiple specialized agents working together. Your pricing agent talks to inventory. Marketing agents coordinate with fulfillment. Five different agents passing work between each other to create ads from raw footage. Level nine, achieved autonomous commerce. Agents with full access making real-time decisions. Pricing adjusts automatically. Inventory reorders itself. Marketing spend optimizes continuously. Humans just set guardrails. Level 10. Created AI native infrastructure. Complete data liberation. Everything vectorized. Custom MCP servers for every function. Agents as Slack co-workers handling daily operations. Thousands of videos turn into searchable vectors. Graph databases discovering patterns that Shopify and Klaviyo can't see. Level 11. Scaled AI engineering org-wide. Every employee builds agents. Marketing creates campaign agents. Operations builds logistics agents. Support makes resolution agents. All interconnected. Your creative team edits videos by typing commands in Google Sheets. Your CRO team has agents catching conversion issues before they cost money. If you're below level five, you might want to speed things up. So what do you do? If you're at levels one through four, start with one workflow. Pick your most repetitive task and build an agent for it. Could be compliance, checking for creator content, could be evaluating testimonial videos. If you're at levels five through seven, time to build your data infrastructure. Vectorize your content, build MCP servers, give your agents real power. If you're at levels eight through 11, you get it. Now it's about scale and teaching your team. The most valuable people in e-commerce won't be the ones using AI tools. They'll be the agent architects who connect them. Learn to think in systems, understand how agents pass information, know when to use vector search versus graph databases, versus SQL. Build MCP servers that expose your unique business logic. In 12 months, every brand will have agents. Where's your brand on the scale? And where's your personal skill level? 
Because if your company is at level two, but you can build level seven solutions, you just became the most valuable person in the building. Start with one agent, one workflow, one problem solved, then connect it to another. Before you know it, you'll be orchestrating systems that would have seemed like magic just last year. To learn more, watch my other videos on my Agentic Brand YouTube channel and read the articles I wrote on agenticbrand.ai.